Over the last six months, we've heard from a number of small business owners in the East Palestine area still recovering from the train derailment. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us what the railroad is doing to try and help those businesses get back on their feet. Anna Doss has operated small businesses in East Palestine the last 23 years, but she admits the last six months have been a struggle ever since that train derailed in town and effectively cut off the business she was getting from Western Pennsylvania. They would use the Taggart Street to come here. Mm. Well, now that that's been closed since February the 3rd, I don't, I don't know that they come. Anna was one of a number of small business owners stopping by an open house hosted by Norfolk Southern Railroad aimed at helping local operators get through some of the tough times. To get the word out that EP is open for business and Norfolk Southern is, uh, is alongside them. I first met Don Elzer at his greenhouse back in May. He tells me now the railroad along with the Ohio and federal EPA have helped let people know the area is safe but he admits recovery is a slow process. There's some things that can't be fixed short term. Um, the perception that's outside the area I think is a big problem um, and everybody's working at that. Anna tells me the railroad has helped her small businesses over these last six months, enough so that her outlook here has changed dramatically since early February. I was like devastated, just a black cloud within our midst, but I, I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, I think. For starters, she says the railroad paid to rebuild the stone wall separating her gas station from the train tracks, another step in what she calls the process of recovery. In East Palestine, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.